What's up, Cavs? This is episode 24 of Cav 10 News. 24 episodes in, and guess what time it is, Brody? I'm going to guess spring break. Five more days. Anyways, this week we're covering all things Callaway, and boy, do we have a lot. From a nationally ranked boxer at CHS to the fastest team in the school and our new region champs, you're going to love this episode. Captain News starts right now. One, two, three, Callaway, five, six, family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see me step up in the room, yes, I'm a cavalier. Cab 10 is starting a new segment that highlights students around our school. We know that not everyone is a part of a team or a club here on campus, so it is important to us that we find those good stories. That's right, Jackie. We need those awesome stories that feature our Cavaliers. So please feel free to message us on Cowboy Media's Facebook. For our first student spotlight, we have an incredible athlete to share all the details about. This athlete spends time in the ring. He won't earn a varsity letter in his sport, but he is nationally ranked, and the ring is his home. I bet a lot of you do not know we have a nationally ranked boxer at CHS. That's right, nationally ranked. Cali Media had the privilege of meeting Duke Evans this week. If you have never met Duke, make it a point to speak to him. Duke is the most humble athlete, but he is fierce in the ring. Let's cut to his story so y'all can see what he does each day after school. I'm Amia and I'm about to introduce y'all to Duke. Duke is a boxer at CHS and he's nationally ranked. Let's go Duke. When did you start boxing and give us details on why? Uh, I started boxing when I was five years old, coming out of kindergarten. Uh, and then when I got home, my mom just told me that I need to pick a sport and then a boxing gym like right down the road. So we went there and for since I just started boxing. So tell us about your practices. How much time do you spend boxing? Uh, we spend about three hours in gym from about five to eight, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturdays. <laughs> Who inspires you to give your best and why? Uh, my mom inspired me most. Uh, she always in me every day. She always on me in the gym and outside of the gym. What advice are you trying to give the other athletes that are trying to accomplish what you have so far? Uh, I just say keep working, keep working hard. I mean, if you believe it, you can achieve it. Your best go Cavs? Ready? Mm-hmm. Go, go Cavs! Cavs. If you have not already seen Miss Map to secure your prom tickets, you need to do ASAP. You also need to pay with cash. Prom will be held on April 20th at the Delavant. There is a lot of information to share with you on arrival time and senior walk. Stay tuned for a video announcement the week we get back from spring break. We will be covering all things prom with all the details. Speaking of details and a reason to celebrate, we have some new region champs in our building. We are so proud of Ms. Cotton and her literary team for capturing a region title. They are headed to state soon, and Callaway Media has the whole story. Let's go. Mm. Hi, I'm Masai, and I'm here with Ms. Cotton. Okay, Ms. Cotton, what is the literary competition? The literary competition is a GHSA event that multiple schools in our region compete in for different prizes. Okay, and what do they do when they compete? There are different categories. You have the speaking category, the music category, and then the essay writing category. Um, We competed in the speaking and the music category, and we got first place in all of them, and we're region champs. Oh, go Cavs. Go Cavs. At Literary, I competed in the dramatic duo with Haley Jones. Okay. What was your event that you competed in? We competed in Literary for our region. All right. How did you prepare for your competition? Um, We would kind of meet up during school or after school, and we would just go over our skit. Mm, Okay. How did you prepare for your competition? So (laughs) me and Grace and Haley, which are the other two girls in our trio, we would meet up every Wednesday, and we'd go over our two songs. Okay. Where do you go from here? We have state next Saturday. We won our regions. Mm. All right, all right. Where do you go from here? So we're going to state since we won our region this Saturday. Mm. Thank you for having me. Thank you. 
This has been another busy week for athletics. Every team Callaway has in season has dominated the game. Let's start with tennis. Boy, have they been serving their ops some competition. Literally serving fastballs over the net with so much power that they have won by a lot the last two matches. Tennis team, keep it up. That 10-0 win against Towers and the 11-0 win over Columbia is impressive. Way to be Callaway. Baseball had another huge win last night. They played Landmark Christian and came off the field with an 11-0 win. The Cavaliers had a solid defense, timely hits, and no hitter on the bumps. The Cavs will be back in action on Saturday against Westminster. Now we have to get to talking about one of the fastest teams in the school. They are quick and under the direction of Coach Holmes. They are loving this newfound vibe at practices and meets. Dye Shepard got the chance to speak to some of the track team's seniors about their season. Let's see what they have to say. Sean Shepard, man, I got some track stars right here. We finna ask them some questions, man, y'all. Yes, sure, yes, sir. All right, so who we got right here today? Tyrus Edwards. Kanaya Fortune. Kanaya, what events are you running this year? The 400, 4x4, and 4x2. Okay, cool. Um, Tyrus, what about you? Um, 400, 200, 4x1, 4x4. Well, here are some new coaches this year, man. How does it feel to be in a new system with the team? Oh, it feels good. You know, he getting good relationship with all the kids and uh, practices way harder than last year. So, you know, Cyrus said that the practice has been a lot harder this year. Do you think that's helping you with some of your times and placing? Yes, I do. It, um, a good impact on um, yeah. With practicing being way harder than last year, do you think that will translate to the um, to placing in state, regional, sectionals, all that good stuff? Yeah, most definitely. As long as we just put the work in, you know, just keep doing this, we'll be fine. I feel like we'll do really good if everybody puts in effort. Blazing too, man. You heard it here first. Now, I know you heard me say one of the fastest teams, so I bet you are wondering who else we have at CHS with some speed. This team that we're about to highlight is for gaining speed. They move at about 28 miles per hour and are hoping to bring home a W this weekend. Let's cut to the story. We highlight our sports teams a lot here at Callaway Media, but we haven't highlighted our other teams. Green Power plays second overall in the F24 Advanced Stock Division and fifth overall in the F24 Advanced Modified Division during Kia March Madness. They also have another race this upcoming Saturday. We interviewed two students on the team for their thoughts on that upcoming race. I'm Alan Hernandez. I'm here with Daniel Goodren. Paul e. Lee. How do you feel about the upcoming race this weekend? Um, I believe that we'll be doing a better job this race than we did last race. Really good uh, because of uh, moving fast and I do believe that we're going to do well at this next race. What have you learned from the past races? Mostly the engineering of the car, how it works and especially the engineering side on how to fix problems especially. Have you all learned anything from the past race? Um, we've learned that um, using a rivet gun is very difficult. They think you're going to win. They think you're going to get the win this week um well it depends on how well we do and how well other teams yeah you think you, you think you can get the win yep <laughs> definitely yes we even got to interview the head coach of the team mr veach i'm here with mr veach i'm the coach of the green power team here at callaway how do you feel about the upcoming race this weekend feel good we've had a couple good races so uh expect to do well uh this coming weekend do y'all think you're gonna get the win you never know. Uh, like Harley said, it depends how well we do and how well the others. I think there's more competition this weekend, so I think it'll be a much tougher job. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Strength is we've got some pretty good seasoned veterans like Harley and uh, learned how to race. Uh, some of our strengths are we only have a few in number. Different people got to do a lot of different things. So sometimes we get spread a little thin. If you're interested in Green Power, check out the race this upcoming Saturday at LaGrange College starting from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be around 40 teams at the event, not just from Georgia, but from all across the United States. Boy, do we have a team that is on fire. You can't speak on their name without wanting to just find one of them and give a good old high five. Saga has had a relentless schedule this week and they handled it like professionals. 
Our girls team has had four games in four days, and you are not going to believe this, but four wins. No cap, they are the best in the state, and I bet the Eagles are still in shock after you girls took home a 12-1 win. Well, as Coach Petit said on his Facebook post, the boys' team has literally lined them up and knocked them down. They also had their fourth straight win in four days. They left Columbia on the field with an impressive 10-0 victory. Way to go, Cavalier Stalker. We can't wait for the playoffs. This week, we decided to find our college Cavs in the hallway for a quick chat. We will be trying our best to capture all of our seniors and their plans, so make sure you stay tuned. College is a big decision, and we have some Cavaliers that have already made their final choice. Let's see what their plans are. Hi guys, I'm Kamari, and class of 2024 finna graduate. So let's see their plans after high school. I heard you're going to Albany University. What's your plans while you're there? Um, I want to major in psychology and be a marriage counselor. We heard you're going to Ma Mary Beer College. What are your plans for there? Well, my plan is to study business analytics and marketing, and I'm also going to play football and run track there as well. Caitlin, we heard that you got accepted to Columbus State. What's your plan? Um, I'm going to go into psychology major, and I'm going to go there for 10 years to get my doctorate. How are you got a sense to a mystery college? Yes, what's yes. your plans for that season? Want to tell us what your plans are, like what college you're going to. So, um, my college announcement will be very soon. Not a gender reveal, but like a like I'm a B1. But um, I plan on going to college and majoring in fashion design and minoring in graphic design and just keep going with my business, man. You got accepted to it. ABAC College. What's your What's your plans? Okay, so I'm going to ABAC for agri business, and I want to work in animal nutrition, so like feed for animals, and because that's kind of like what I did here with my pig. I just had a good little knack for it. But that's all for part one of Class of 2024. Come back next week for part two. Now it's time for our question of the week with the students in the lunchroom. Let's check it out. Back today with another question of the day. Today we're going around asking people what they would do if they were the last person left standing on Earth. Let's get straight into it. Who am here with today? MJ. MJ, if you're the last person left standing on Earth, what would be the first thing you did? Probably go swimming in the ocean. There we go. I'm here today with Mr. Graham, obviously. Mr. Graham, if you were the last person left standing on Earth, what would be the first thing you did? Well, if, if I woke up. Yeah, woke up. You're the last one standing. I realized that I'm the only person left on Earth. Yeah. Uh, first thing I'd do is probably shed a tear. Okay. You know, where did everybody go? Where'd my family go? Uh, Soft. Hey, look, <laughs> man, that's heavy stuff, man. Last person on Earth, everybody's gone. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, uh, after that, you know how Forrest Gump just woke up one day and just decided to go running? Yeah. That's probably what I do. That sounds fun. I like that. I run around the world. Where would you go first? To the White House. That's pretty cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Braylon Bowles. Braylon, if you woke up and all of a sudden you were the last person left standing on Earth, what would be the first thing you did? Go take a Lamborghini. And drive to Africa. Why Africa? I don't know. I don't know. I like drive through Africa. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know. I can't even say it because I don't know. All right, bro. Go to the bank and get everybody money. You the only person. What you mean? Like, I'm the, I'm the only person? You woke up, you're the only person left alive. Ain't oh. nobody else to take your money. Hey, that's the best thing. I like being alone. Okay. I don't know, man. It's probably just, probably take a ride on, on the Six Flags. That's know, what I said. By myself. I think it would be pretty lit. Bianca. Bianca, if you woke up and all of a sudden you were the last person left standing on Earth, what would be the first thing you did? Um, I would probably try to figure out where my family is and all my friends. Boring. <laughs> all right, who am I here with today? Uh, you're here with Dr. Herdner. What's up? Dr. Herdner. Dr. Herdner, let's say you woke up and all of a sudden everybody was gone from planet Earth. Everybody just vanished. You were the only person left standing. Uh, what would be the first thing you did? I would go play basketball. 
Okay, by yourself? Okay, yeah, solo hoop session. Myself. There we go. I like that. I like yeah. that. Who am I here with today? AJ. AJ, let's say you woke up and all of a sudden everybody on planet Earth had just vanished. You're the only one remaining. What would be the first thing you did? Rob the bank? There's no, bro. People keep saying that. There's no money. Like, why, why would you need money? There's nobody to give it to. You want to be on it, though? Yeah. I just go take over the whole world. You know, exactly. I just take over the world. Like, just take over stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? And there you have it, folks. That is the end of this segment. Uh, thank you for once again tuning in to Gray's Question of the Day. We'll see you next week. Mr. and Miss CHS is on the 25th. Make sure you are there to watch and see who earns this legendary title. Senior Breakfast is also on March 28th. Make sure you have made reservations. This is a special event for all seniors. As always, don't forget, we have a podcast that is posted every Friday. Well, Callaway, that's all for Captain News. You can find us on our YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and keep up with everything Callaway. Go, Go Cavs! Cavs.